Hello, thank you for watching this video. So I have started working on the input system and this is this was actually a very important task that I wanted to do since this is going to tell us how the other UI systems in the game will work. So if I click play, you'll see that new game is already selected. Now the reason for that is is because if I uh, if I start the game, the continue button will not be present unless the player actually is continuing is continuing uh, the game and uh, has a load file uh, so the navigation system works like if I press W uh, and S so this is working and the arrow keys are working as well and if I hover like this it's going to work as well now this is very important although this is a very small task but this was actually one of the most important tasks we need we needed to get this done so since this is done now we can basically uh, now we basically have this problem where we also need to set the set the navigation for the settings menu the navigation for the settings menu is actually going to be the toughest one as we also need to deal with tabs so it's going to be quite a quite a problem i'd say i think we should keep it to tabs so if we if we have tabs we'll just uh, switch to another to another scene but uh sorry to another menu because right now the problem is that if i open up assets from client and module one and if i go to settings you'll see that in the basic settings which is this there is this item right here now the problem is that if we do it this way, that um, if you're let's let's say for example, uh, clicking between these buttons or navigating between these buttons, it's going to be extremely difficult for us to go towards the right, basically. So I'm thinking that probably we should uh, just have tab or some other key to basically change the change the uh, ch change select from these basically, and not put. put the, put this in the navigation system as it'll be very difficult to get every everything done over here it is uh, in fact it's going to be not only difficult it's going to be like a very very painful and um and you can uh, and a very, very painful and difficult task to handle this and this as well so i'm thinking about it that uh i'm thinking about how we can basically do this as this is also a button and we need to actually set the navigation for this as well so this is going to be quite a tough task the ui for the for the uh for this menu is going to be extremely difficult it is going to be remarkably difficult anyway so other than that um yeah so this is going to be very difficult so uh, i've set the set the standards right now so if i uh i can actually show you a build so let me just show it to you Okay, so this is the build. I'm going to give this to you as well. And please ignore that, that uh, you please press OK. And this is basically the build right now. So uh, we will have uh, settings when we when we basically uh, we can we will be able to change the resolution and the graphics settings. And if I click quit, then the game quits right now. But yeah, so I'm con really concerned about the settings menu as this is going to be an extremely tough task uh, getting this done properly. Not sure how this will work, but uh, other games they actually have a separate uh, button or a separate uh, yeah separate buttons for navigating between these and the other and the other basically the other buttons. And I think I'll have to make this completely custom. I will probably not be able to. Uh, I'll probably not be able to get this done in an effective manner. What I can what I can basically. What I, what I basically believe I will, I will not be able to get this done in an effective manner using the Unity's event system that it gives to us. So yeah, that is a major concern.